I have an MP7 class setup that you guys need to try right now. As you can see, it is a level 54. Before we get into the class setup, I just want to talk about a few things that are a bit misleading with the MP7. The attachments don't really do what they say they do. I was looking at some of the attachments and the monolithic suppressor had me stumped, man. I was like, okay, cool. You get sound suppression and you also get damage range. So, you know, me being a stealthy player, I said, hey, man, this is not a bad attachment right here. You get sound suppression, you get to stay stealthy, and at the same time, you increase that damage range along with the barrel called the FSS Recon. So it says that you get the damage range and a bullet velocity and recoil control. It looks really good on paper, right? So I went into a private match. I tested it out. There was no change at all as far as damage range goes. All right, so with no attachments, the MP7 is four shots to kill from five to 10 meters and five shots to kill at 15 meters, and then six shots to kill at 20 meters, and then seven shots to kill from 25 to 55 meters. Obviously, this is not that great, especially when you compare it to other weapons in the game. Then I decided to test it out with the monolithic suppressor as well as the FSS recon attachment. I'm just showing you guys to avoid these attachments right here. The monolithic suppressor and the FSS recon attachments still have the same damage range as far as if the MP7 had no attachments on it at all. These are some broken attachments. Do not use it. It's not worth it. All right. So that's just something I wanted to get out of the way why I'm not using these attachments because some of you guys may say, hey, Turbo, you know, this attachment increases the damage range why don't you put that on well that's your answer right there and i was completely stumped by it i was so confused like you know what is the exact positive thing about putting on these attachments so it's a complete waste avoid it at all costs don't even put it on your weapon you're better off using the other attachments that i'm about to show you right now all right so for my laser i'm using the TAC laser now this one increases your aim down side speed your aiming stability and your aim walking steadiness you get three pros and for the price of one con, which is your laser is gonna be visible to enemies. I don't really find the con of your laser being visible to enemies as big of a deal because the way you should be using this weapon anyways is up close and personal. You wanna close that gap. Remember, this MP7 has a lot of shots to kill from various ranges. So you wanna get as close as you can as possible. When you're using this gun, especially with attack laser, try not to engage in long range gunfights because the laser is gonna be visible to enemies, especially smart players. They're going to see your green little laser from a distance and then they're going to be able to tell your positioning based on where that laser is coming from. So be smart with how you use this weapon. All right, so moving on to stock. For this attachment right here, this is completely personal preference. For me, I personally enjoy using the no stock because it increases your movement speed as well as your aim down side speed. The quicker you are, the more cracked your aim is going to be, especially when you're running around the map. And like I said, this is an aggressive class setup. You want to play a lot more up close and personal in the enemy's faces and of course you want to move around the map in a smart tactical way you don't want to just run down through the middle and just expecting to win gunfights just because you have these attachments on you have to understand that you do have to approach every part of the map in a position where you're most likely going to win those gunfights so i'm talking about you know staying close to the walls stick it to the outskirts of the map trying to flank the enemy just play smart especially with an smg that's what you have to do because the kill range are not that great on SMGs in general. You know, you're not going to stand a chance going up against something like a M4 at distance if you're trying to take them out with an MP7. That's just not smart. So uh, for me, I like the no stock attachment, but if you want, you could use the Forge TAC Ultralight attachment right here. And I have had a lot of success using this. Again, it depends on your play style. But if you're going to go this route, this attachment right here is really great for aiming down sights and strafing left and right. And that's what I really like about it as well. It adds that needed mobility in those gunfights to make yourself a harder target to hit. So you can't go wrong with either or the Forge TAC Ultralight or the No Stock attachment. All right, so moving on to perk. I am using Sleight of Hand here. It was brought to my attention that using the Recon perk is pretty much useless because when you unlock your specialist ability you do unlock the recon perk as well as the sleight of hand but you know what i would rather have sleight of hand more than anything especially since we're playing aggressive here it's super important to make sure you're locked and loaded and ready for the next gunfight now moving on to the rear grip stippled grip tape is a must have on almost every single weapon because it increases your aim down side speed which as do other attachments do but it also increases your sprint to fire speed so this is going to allow you to lock onto your targets and at the same time 
fire your weapon a lot faster from sprinting this is very important as well especially since you are going to be playing more aggressive you're going to be up close and personal and this is how you're going to win those gunfights and get the jump on your enemy you're basically one step ahead of the enemy because of this attachment right here moving on to the under barrel i decided to put on the ranger foregrip because it increases your recoil control as well as your aiming stability now the cons are your aim walking movement speed and your aim down side speed but that is barely noticeable because of all the other attachments that we have here that definitely negate the cons and exclusive ace actually did some testing we're noticing the cons of your aim walking movement speed and your aim down sight speed is not even noticeable at all so shout out to exclusive ace by the way make sure to subscribe to that guy he puts in a lot of work that the call of duty community does appreciate the ranger foregrip is definitely going to help you a lot especially in mid-range gunfights or long-range gunfights if you end up in those long range gunfights ideally you do not want to and you're going to notice a difference in being able to control your weapon a lot more especially when you're firing this weapon with a, such a high fire rate your gun is just going to be swaying everywhere so when you're aimed down sights having this ranger foregrip is definitely going to help you control that moving on to secondaries nothing special here i know a lot of you guys have your personal preferences for secondary weapons so you can go ahead and choose whatever you want i'm just running a pistol very rarely do i ever find myself in situations where i'm actually pulling out my secondary to help Help me survive in a gunfight because i'm always running the scavenger perk I'm, i never run without it because i like to stick with the weapon i'm using which brings me to my perks so the first perk that i have on is eod now if you know anything about modern warfare explosives are super overpowered in this game and having eod reduces that damage that you take from explosives which is very important because we all know how annoying claymores can be how annoying being thrown to c4 at you can be but having on EOD is kind of like an insurance perk that will help you survive. Then for perk two, I'm running Ghost. Never run without Ghost. Any good player will always run with Ghost. Once the enemy team calls in that UAV, you're gonna be exposed on that radar and it's gonna make it easier for enemies to find you. You don't wanna be an easy target, put on Ghost and you're gonna save yourself a lot of deaths. Then for perk three, I'm using Tracker. I really enjoy using this perk so much, man. It makes everything a lot easier, especially with this class setup. Since we're playing a little bit more aggressive, you'll be able to see enemy footprints and it will literally lead you to the enemy, which is really awesome. And it will lead to the easy kill is super helpful in those situations and sometimes it'll show you footprints where you didn't even know or think there was an enemy you'll be like whoa there's actually an enemy right there and it will lead you to the enemy and it's very very helpful so you don't want to use tracker you could also use something like tune up tune up will help you earn your field upgrade a lot faster by 33 percent very useful especially if you're using something like dead silence or stopping power those are two field upgrades i definitely recommend but again those are just my personal preferences right there if you want to run with tune up those are the field upgrades to go with Moving on to my specialist bonuses right here. So at two kills, I'm gonna earn my scavenger perk. I'm never really in a situation where I need to pull out my secondary because at two kills, I already unlocked scavenger. So what's the point, right? This will allow me to use the same weapon throughout the game. Then for number two, I'm using hardline. This is a personal preference. Maybe you wanna use something else, but at four kills, I get hardline, which will enable me to earn my next specialist perk, which is battle harden. And I'm gonna get this one at five kills because we're using hardline i know it says six kills but when you're using hardline you get it at five kills then after that you do earn all of the perks in the game including recon and sleight of hand that just right there tells you how overpowered you can be as a player versus the enemy because you've got all of these different perks on your side and if you haven't tried the specialist bonus yet i highly recommend that you do at this point in time i feel like specialist bonus perks are a lot more overpowered than actually using kill streaks and i find myself surviving a lot longer while i'm running the specialist bonus because of all the perks that i do earn in the game and it helps me survive a lot longer so that's something to consider if you want to go that route again this is personal preference if you like running kill streaks then go with kill streaks moving on to lethals i really enjoy using the c4 because again with this class setup we're rushing around we're trying to flank and there's certain situations that you're going to get into where maybe you kill one or two enemies right and then there's a third enemy you you guys are in a gunfight he's busy reloading his weapon instead of wasting that much time and giving the enemy a chance to reload his weapon and potentially kill you why not just toss a c4 at that dude and just kill him instantly you know get the job done right then and there that's why i like using the c4 or if somebody's trying to capture a flag or somebody's camping out a window throwing the c4 is definitely useful and it will get you easy kills so i recommend using the c4 
before. All right, then for tactical, I'm running stim shot. Like I keep saying before, you gotta run stim shot, especially if you're playing aggressive because you're gonna find yourself in situations where you need to heal yourself because you gotta stay ready and be able to heal yourself a lot quicker and get back into the gunfight or flee the gunfight if you need to. And that way you don't get one shot on your way out. You know, at least they might get a hit marker on you, but you won't die right away because you're in full health. You've got that stim shot. And remember to use it in the most opportune times. Don't use it just to use it. You know, use it smartly. Use it when you're in tough situations and you know that enemies are coming at you. Using the stim shot is definitely going to help bail you out in certain situations. And I highly recommend stim shot. So that about wraps it up for today's video. Definitely drop a like if you did find this video helpful. And make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.